Now, classes were canceled this week, but they will resume on Monday. Alexis Padilla spoke to a longtime teacher who's trying to return a sense of normalcy to students. Alexis. Emily, it has been an emotional roller coaster this week for those who work here at Prairie Creek Elementary School. They call this place many teachers a home away from home. And while it is heartbreaking to see the aftermath of the tornado, the thought of their kids is pushing them through. What can we do to make these last two weeks just awesome for these kids? It's been the number one question on Erica Hicks and the Prairie Creek Elementary School staff since Friday's tornado. It was really emotional just to see the row of homes and just go, I know who lives in every one of those houses. Um, and then to see Prairie Creek just boarded up and glass everywhere. It was it was really emotional. Staff have worked all week to find a way to keep school going. An answer finally found. Monday, students return spread across five buildings. We'll come back to a the same group of kids, their same teacher, just in a different location. So lots and lots of details that we're working through, but uh, the staff is excited. They're planning some amazing memories and, and opportunities for the students. A huge relief for parents. Yeah, it's been hectic, you know. A lot of us that, have, that work full time, we've had to take off work just to be home with the kids, and I'm glad that they got something worked out for us. The generosity of the community and willpower of the staff bringing a ray of hope after a tough week. Prairie Creek is a community, and you know, I tell these kids, you're my kids, you're my kids forever. I love you and you're, you're stuck with me. Um, and so just giving them that chance to come back together and see each other and know that they're all okay. Says Monday's gonna feel like Christmas being back with their students. As for the logistics now, they're still working that out with transportation and food services. Now for the official damage done to Prairie Creek Elementary School, that amount still is being totaled. Here for you in Andover, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.